What's up, Divine Feminine? What it do, what it do, what it do? Welcome to Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. So, Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right? So I'm getting straight on into this reading. Going to jump right on off into this reading, Divine Feminine. This reading is for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody is pointing the finger at you, Divine Feminine. If you have um, your protection crystal, Spirit is saying for me to tell you, it's time to charge it. Okay. People are trying to send negative energy towards you and they point the finger saying it's you. So if you protect your energy, they can't be lying on you like that. Okay? Because they're walking around with toxic ass energy. If you're, if you're protecting and, and, you know, charging your crystals, you're more humble. You're not toxic. You're not walking around angry and hateful and resentful. Okay? That's how they the enemy is walking around. Okay, so spirit, show me the energy surrounding my divine feminines. Three fell face down, so I'm not gonna take that. But you still blocking this motherfucker, Gem um, divine feminine? I almost said Gemini. Gemini, if you in the building, what it do, what it do. But y'all are, uh, you, you, you've unblocked them. This gambling energy. Or you've taken a risk and unblocked somebody. See, some of y'all got a social media platform out there. And you've been blocking this person. Now you've unblocked them. And this is a gambling energy. Somebody who gambles someone who takes risks somebody could play cards somebody is is feeling like um they're having bad luck right now it's a black cat out here which i black cats don't mean because i own a black cat if anything his low ass is magical um but they they have friday the 13th out here something could have happened on Friday the 13th. Okay. Um, somebody could have broke a mirror and, and you feeling like you're going to have seven years of bad luck. Now, be aware of all of those superstitions and all of that stuff. That's mental magic. Okay. Have you afraid? Had me like that afraid for years to split a pole. Um, to walk up under a ladder, those are just omens to keep you, like, stuck in some sort of way, okay? And you have somebody out here, Divine Feminine, that wants you to be blinded in a situation. Mm -hmm. This person could, could have given you a necklace, um, and it could have some sort of attachment to it to keep you blinded on the bullshit they doing, okay? For some of you, this is your baby daddy. And you blocked his ass. Mm -hmm. You wasn't protecting yourself. You wasn't charging your crystals. You weren't taking spiritual baths and healing yourself. And you, some of you, you haven't walked away from this person because that's your, yeah, this is your baby daddy. This is a baby mama, baby daddy situation. The baby mama not talking to the baby daddy. The baby daddy not talking to the baby mama. The, um, neither one of y'all is protecting yourself. This person is doing nothing but stopping you from being creative. Divine Feminine, I'm sorry. This person targeted you. You should be saying, not my monkey, not my circus, because they pointing the finger at you. They they trying to say that you that you targeted them. And the center of the energy is the baby mama. Now um the child's mama. 
I don't know, uh, Divine Feminine. Yeah, you the baby mama. You not talking to you not talking to your baby daddy. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna try to come to you with a necklace. Now, Gemini, if you've been following me, I know I've been gone a while, but um, y'all know what this card means. This is this motherfucker that um, wants you to be blinded. He don't want you to see the mind manipulation that he's, he's doing. And he gave you some sort of necklace or a piece of jewelry or something. Something that you're wearing around your neck and it's fucking real gold. Because he don't ever want you to take it off. Okay? It has a spell on it. And this is, this is the overall energy. One of the overall energies is three. And you blocked his ass. But you need to take off that piece of jewelry that he gave you. I'm not saying, um, well, hey, I'm going to just be real with you. If this motherfucker, the person that you blocked from your social media, you blocked them from your phone, your baby daddy, you know the relationship ain't going nowhere. The piece of jewelry that he gave you, it has some sort of attachment to you. So, what you can do, I, 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 I gotta tell you the truth because the truth is telling me to tell you the truth. That piece of jewelry that your baby daddy gave you, go, go trade it for something. Go pawn it, take the money, and go buy you another necklace. And um, if you still deal with this person and he asks you what happened to it, um, Tell him something happened to him, but don't accept no more jewelry from him, okay? Because he wants you to be blinded to the fact. And we're going to find out what that, that fact is that he wants you to be blinded to. I feel like it's a, it's a third party situation. One of my old faithful cards. I have me a little drawer right here now that I can just pull my cards out instead of reaching way over there trying to get them all. I got I got this cute little drawer that I found at a thrift store. And it's perfect. So um okay, so yeah, so you block this person, right? This person was a gambler, is a gambler. They had you in the energy of stalking, like they made you feel like they was always watching you. They was pointing a finger at you. They took away your creativity and your skills and you have a fucking talent, Divine Feminine, that has something to do with your hands. You could either play an instrument or something. Um, you may sew make clothes or something. Whatever it is, you do it with your hands. You may have the gift of healing with your hands. You may play this weird ass instrument that nobody knows what it is that has some sort of strings on it, but you can make a tune with it. You know how to play that motherfucker. And if that's what it is that you're doing, that you have your talent or your skill, something that nobody else do, you better get your motherfucking ass up on TikTok and start playing that shit because it's the weird shit that's getting famous. The weird people is getting rich now. Did you, have you noticed? Have you, I'm not talking about obese women because I weighed um, 280 pounds. I was a big girl, okay? Um, but how, when you, on, on TikTok, how these great big, big women, these big people, Usually they, they get teased about it. A lot of people put negative. I don't I don't doubt them or anything, but I'm just saying this is how society is. The people who were being talked about the most is the ones that's shining and standing out. You understand you feel me? 
the, the big obese people. I mean, every time I go on TikTok, I'm just tired of seeing all of the big, I'm, I'm not talking because I was fat myself. But I get tired of every time I'm seeing, I'm seeing these big old people half dressed, dancing and shit. Okay, I understand they doing the exercise, but the people be on there, I ain't even gonna say nothing. Just lying to them people, um, basically making fun of them. And the, the people keep doing it just for the likes. They're humiliating themselves for the likes. And um, that's crazy. So you you have a, a real gift or a talent. There's something with your hands. You may sew something. Um, hell, you may be a mechanic. You may work with your hands. You may be a carpenter or something. I don't know. You work with your hands. Okay, but whatever it is, you can make money with it. And you got this motherfucker right here that you done blocked. Maybe this is why you done blocked him because this person was trying to slow you down. They didn't want you to show your creative side. And this is your fucking baby dad. Yes, it is. Yes. And I'm going to stop right there, Divine Feminine. If this resonated with you, don't forget to support my channel by hitting the thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so whenever... I post another video, you will be notified. All right, peace.